Now, a likely humanitarian crisis is looming in Tako and Usai local governments in Taraba State, where more than 40 persons have been killed in a fresh raid by bandits. Now, residents of 10 farming communities have deserted their homes seeking safety, while about 120,000 others have been rendered homeless. Correspondent to Wolabi Adenusi filed in this report. The bandits have now spread their attacks to Kujuan, Asik, Repanchin, Kutuko and Kusasa, where the entire Kwesita ward, Lisam 2, Yang 2 and Bika have been deserted. Villages in Takum and Usa local government areas have been turned to killing fields through coordinated attacks by suspected Fulani Maruders who have now taken over some forests in the zone. Recently, six soldiers while trying to prevent attacks on some communities were killed in an ambush by the bandits. This has led to a desertion of many farming communities, with farmers forced into internally displaced persons' IDPs camps as a result of security threats. They are now lamenting neglect by relevant authorities. Nowhere to go. We cannot even find ourselves somewhere. There is no food store, there is nothing, nothing. Right now we are just crying, people are moving up and down, there is no eatable, the children are crying, no food. The alarming rate of attacks has become a concern to the member representing the zone in the state assembly. There are complicities. The state government must set up a high power commission of inquiry in order to unravel the mystery behind this crisis. Stakeholders of the warring communities describe killing of their kinsmen as genocide, urging the federal government to take necessary action to halt it. The state government has now put mechanisms in place to curb the activities of the bandits as well as protect lives and properties of innocent citizens. We are working and maintaining a credible synergy with other security agencies, specifically the military. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, the State Emergency Agency and other organizations and good-spirited individuals are urged to support in providing shelter, security, water, food and non-food relief items to address the growing humanitarian needs of the IDPs.